Howdy. In this video, I want to talk about the importance of, when we describe transformations, the importance of doing our reflections first or listing them out in order first. And I am inspired to do this video because I was grading IB um, tests and they listed things in the wrong order. And then it made me realize that what we're going to do in pre cov right now with um, transformations with logs um, the same things hold tr the same properties hold true. So I've created all these different equations and we're going to talk through some of this. So um, there's rational functions which came it's not exactly the question from the um, IB test, but it's, it's good enough for our purposes. And then I made up a log problem to help the, the pre-cal kids right now. Okay, so our goal is to graph this one where it, it was, um, it's a rational function. So the parent function was right here where it's just one over X. And then we, um, the question is, do I do the shifts first or do I do the reflection first? So if I do if I do the shifts first, then I have gone to the left two and up three, and now I have that this um, this green uh, function or the, the green graph right there. So the asymptotes initially had been at x equals zero and at y equals zero, and now it's at x equals negative two because it went two to the left and then up three. Okay, so oh, dang it. Okay, sorry. Okay. We're good, we're good. So on this one, if I then do a reflection of that, then this, okay, if you think about it right here, it's kind of, the, the intersection of the asymptotes would be at negative two, three. So right there. If I do a reflection, and then that means that this is gonna have to move down, uh, down here, okay? And so that's what this graph is gonna show. Let me turn off that one. So you'll notice that these, um, this one right here, and now it has that asymptote at x equals negative 2 and an asymptote at y equals negative 3. And so the intersection is down here. It, it shifted or it reflected over that x-axis. Um, however, that's different than what was given to us. Okay, so the purple, those aren't the same graph. So here's my point. We have to do the reflection first, and I should have typed this in. Um, let me do y equals, I was, I was all planned ahead, and then um, negative 1 divided by x. Okay, so if I have that one, this is a little messy. Um, okay, if I take, if I start at the parent function right here, what I need to do first is I need to then reflect it, and then I can take that graph and do the shifts that I need to. If I first... So that's what that's how we get the correct graph. So you got to do the reflection first, then the shift. Um, and instead, if you try and do the the shifts first, um, let's turn on, and then do the reflection, which is this one. Okay, notice those two are not the same graph. So my general rule of thumb is reflect first, then shift. Let's look at that log example. Um, the goal is to get to this, okay? So if you if you base it off of what you recognize, the, the negative, it's the parent function is this, log base 2 of x, and then it's had a reflection over the, um, the y-axis in this time, and then it shifted to the left 3. Well, so if I, if I switch that order, let's say I do, so the correct way to do this is to do ref, um, reflect it over the... Um, y-axis and then shift it to the left so now you'll notice this the red got reflected this little point right here is now right here and then this the purple graph right here now got shifted one two three and here's the, the black one and that's the correct way to do this if we do it the incorrect way then what we would end up with let's turn off this one for just a second if we shift it to the left three that's this Notice this point right here has moved to the left three. And now if we do a reflection, notice how this point right here reflected over the y-axis and ended up right there. That is not the same graph as this one. Okay, so the big takeaway, reflect first, then do your shifts. Hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Go practice.